What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm super excited to be bringing you a special unboxing that was made possible by 28mobile.com. For this product right now is only available in China in very limited quantities, so if you want to pick one of these up, I will leave their website linked in the description section below. The special product is the Nokia N1. This is Nokia's first Android tablet ever, so I was really excited to get my hands on one of these. Interesting fact though is this is manufactured at Foxconn, but actually bears the Nokia logo. This is a compact 7.9 inch tablet with a quad core Intel Morpheal processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 5300 milliamp hour battery, 8 megapixel camera on the back, and it also runs Android 5.0, which is very exciting. So let's go ahead and lift the lid off of there, and there is your brand new Nokia N1. There's a little tab there to pull your tablet out, and you have some documentation there. It says Nokia N1 on the front. Pretty awesome on the back, it says thinking ahead. And you get some Chinese documentation here that I cannot read, and you get a quick start guide. So let's dive into the rest of this box. You don't get a whole lot here because this is a budget tablet, but you do get a wall plug, which looks like any other wall plug, and it is a two amp charger if you need to know. But what is not typical is this USB to USB-C cord, which is reversible USB. I can't believe that this is included in this tablet. So nothing else in the box. So let's go ahead and dive right into this tablet. There's some plastic on this tablet, so we're gonna go ahead and take that off of there. But I was very surprised how lightweight this thing is. I was expecting it to be much heavier than this because of the metal construction. But my first impressions of this tablet on build quality is it feels pretty amazing in the hand, actually. I couldn't believe the nice metal construction that's on here. And when you're holding this tablet, it definitely feels more expensive than that. The color is very similar to the Space Gray products of Apple products. It's just a little bit darker. And I really like the way that the glass is pretty much level with the metal when it comes to the construction. That's very nice. And it also is fairly thin as well. And I really like the smooth feel of the back. And if you have touched a Apple iPad before. This feels very, very similar and looks similar too. So we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. Let's get the elephant out of the room because this thing looks exactly like an iPad mini. I mean, there's no way you can look at this tablet and say it does not look like an iPad mini. I mean, from the actual speakers to where the ports are and the rounded design and the metal construction and even the buttons minus the mute rocker switch there, but Besides that, it looks just like an iPad mini. It's pretty unbelievable. So this is pretty much like a Chinese knockoff with better than average build quality. I don't know if that makes any sense, but here is the Nexus 9 next to it. And even though the Nexus 9 is nice, I much more prefer the 7.9 inch form factor. So looking at the bottom of the tablet and doing a quick hardware tour, you will find the dual speakers that are on the bottom and you'll find an interesting port. And no, that's not a lightning port. This is a USB-C port. And if you don't know what that is, this is reversible USB. So no matter which way that you flip that USB cord, it fits right in there. So this is very nice inclusion. And this is the first tablet that I've ever seen with this connectivity. And this is how you charge and this is how you sync. Now on the opposite side there, you get the dual volume rocker switches and on the top you get the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with the microphone and the power button and on the opposite side you will find absolutely nothing. On the back you will find an 8 megapixel camera capable of 1080p video and on the back all you will find is the Nokia logo and some FCC information. On the front you will find a display but above that you will find a 5 megapixel front facing camera and your ambient light sensor. The display is a 7.9 inch 15 by 36 by 2048 pixels, which is 324 pixels per inch, and that is an IPS LCD display. When you boot this thing up, you will find some information on the Z Launcher. Just hit accept, and everything is in Chinese right now, for this is the Chinese version. So let me go and try to find out how I can put this in English. That was pretty easy to do. Everything is in English now, and this is rocking Android 5.0 Lollipop, and actually it's running 5.0.2 because I got a couple updates in between here, but this is pretty much stock Android 5.0 with the Nokia Z Launcher. So this is very nice to see on a tablet like this. It is being powered by the Intel Atom Z3580 quad-core processor at 2.3 gigahertz with the Power VR G6430 GPU, and it's got two gigabytes of RAM as well. 
So if you're not familiar with the Z launcher, you can actually get this on any Android device. It's a real simple launcher. And right from the home screen, all you need to do is just draw a letter on there and it will give you the corresponding app. Like if you hit G, there's the gallery. And it's just extremely simple. And all of the apps that you use daily or that you use most of, it congregates right in the middle of your home screen. This launcher does work in portrait and landscape mode, so I think it fits the tablet pretty well. You are allowed some widgets like this clock widget here, and if you hit it, it takes you right into the stock clock app, and you can pick all of your different countries and your alarms and everything, so it's nice to see that stock lollipop look across the board. Once again, very simple launcher. All you need to do is swipe to the left and you will find all of your apps that you've installed right there. So not many apps that it came with this tablet because it does not come with the Google services because this is the Chinese version. And you can see that the gallery is the old school gallery, not the photos app. And you are using a stock Android browser here and no Chrome. So that's kind of weird because I've been using Android for a while and that's kind of weird for me but the camera is the stock google camera app and it's very simple as you can see shutter is pretty quick too actually and if you look the camera is an 8 megapixel camera on the back and the front camera is actually a 5 megapixel camera so that's very interesting but the video is capped out at 1080p for both cameras even though this is the Chinese version, you can sideload apps. So I was trying to sideload the Google Play services and it did not work. I tried the newer versions, the older versions. I tried everything. You can install things like YouTube and uh, Google search and you can get that from the APKs, but none of the framework services work at all. So I rebooted, I tried everything. So it looks like I'm probably gonna need root to get this stuff working. So make sure you follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific and I will let you know how to get this tablet on there. I'm pretty sure this is not too hard, but I'm just gonna have to have a little time to root it and to get these Google Play services working so I can start testing this as a full Android tablet for me for a daily driver. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the display. And it is a 1536 by 2048 resolution with 324 pixels per inch. So it's pretty pixel dense and it looks pretty good actually. The color replication is on, it's nice and punchy, it's vibrant, but it's not the brightest display that I've seen. And it is an IPS display, but the viewing angles aren't the greatest I've seen on an IPS display, but I don't think you'll be disappointed with this display at this price point. So when you fire this thing up, I think that you will be pretty happy with the display on the Nokia N1. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and first impressions of this Nokia tablet. This is their first Android tablet, so this is very exciting for me because I'm a big fan of Nokia products. But let me know what you guys think about it and if you're interested in picking one up. And make sure you follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific for continuing coverage of this tablet because I will try to get these Google services working and I can't wait to test this thing out for a daily driver and maybe compare it to the iPad if you guys wanna see it. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you guys watching and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one.